my debut uh, was against Fulham. Uh, then that was my first really look on Edwin van der Sar because he was a Fulham goalkeeper at the time. And then obviously I had uh, two games before end of the season. I played against Manchester United in Old Trafford. And I had a really good what game. Was like? I was ma- oh, I was amazing. Right. Uh, and you, grew, you, you grew up being a Manchester United fan as well. Exactly. And I yeah. play against them. Yeah. You can imagine. For me, it was like... And I was sitting on the bench in this game. Uh, Russell Stark. Um, uh, Russell Hall started the game. Yeah. And got injured. After 10 minutes, uh, there was a like tricky situation where uh, Gixi, I think, uh, Russell was setting the wall and Gixi flicked over the wall and Russell wasn't uh, ready for it. When he moved, he pulled his groin and he was injured. And I walk in, I was like, a hey, guy, serious. Um, I can't be tough, but my legs was shaking. Shake I was it. like, what's going on? You know, you just go, it's, it's, things happen to you. The warm up was great, but that was like on the pitch. And I just played. I played. I, I had a fantastic game. You know, I, I saved shots and shots and Ronaldo, and they, they couldn't score, boys. And, and I had a few, uh, like, uh, end of the day, we draw the game. Um, you got man of the match. I got a man of the match. I had the interviews. I had everything. I was like, what, "What's going on here?" <laughs> you know. Can you remember? Um, can you remember your first day training? Obviously, there's some huge, huge players at United at the time. What was it like? Was it was it daunting? Was it was you nervous? Yeah, there was um, there was an open training in Old Trafford when I signed, yeah. and uh, obviously. Uh, uh, this is what I remember, really, was the last... Uh, I mean, I remember everything, but the uh, funny part is we played uh, a small pitch, 10 against 10. You know, very small, like yeah. tap, in, tap in, tap out, uh, slide out. And the ball was moving so quick, I swear on my life. I was standing there in my head as a goalkeeper. I just... <laughs> I couldn't get it. And then uh, they score one, two, three, four, five. You know how this is. You come new club, you, you know, coming. And it's just... And I was like, and Sir Alex came to me and tapped me in the shoulder. He said, Thomas, don't worry. You need two or three months to get used to it, to the pace yeah. of the ball in this football club. And I was like, uh, already, I was like playing a Premier League, yeah? Uh, West Bromwich Albion, there's big stories about me at the time and talent and this and that. I was thinking slowly, like, yeah, I'm there. But soon I you started to train. Save of the season as well. Bro. Yeah, make it a season. Yeah, save of the season. I, before I left, I was like, you know, win this trophy and that trophy, best goalkeeper, best this, this. And I start after 10 minutes, after five minutes of small training side, 10, 10 side football, like like small game. Yeah. I came down straight away. You know, it's like, like you don't need much in football. If you see this, you think from being so sure and confident that I did so well, I start to think like I need to work harder here because if I don't catch up with this guy was it was it gonna, was it that much I'm gonna be out very quick. Was it that much of a step up from West Brom? Unbelievable step up. And I think if you talk about different for me at the time, I already was playing in Premier League and yeah. uh, was a great players in my team at West Brom at the time, Kanu, you know, Kevin Campbell, great experienced players, yeah. Zoltan Guerra, Jonathan Greening and you know uh, but the pace was unbelievable. I swear, it's not just talking. It's just, you know, I was like, the ball was moving, you know. Uh, for me, it was like the players uh, step up like three passes before they knew it, what was going to happen. You know, the, the the way how they read the game and, and the understanding between them. Was, you know, guys, uh, now I understand. With this team at the time, we won most everything in the, in, in the world. For We dominate the, the, the football league. Uh, the football in six years, Manchester United was three Champions League finals, Premier League, uh, different titles. And, you know, we, we had a fantastic team. And that was the difference, you know, the, the speed of the ball. Obviously, I catch up because you get used yeah. to it, used yeah. to it, used to it. And uh, the training pace and everything. Did you enjoy going to training every day? I loved it. You know, uh I think I read something with uh, Cristiano. I think Pat Pat said something about Cristiano coming to the football club. When I signed, I, I was I was early anyway. You know, uh, when I play West Brom, I always I like to wake up early. I like eight o'clock, seven thirty to training ground, 
and uh, I enjoyed training, but I said like, yeah, I'm going to impress here. I want to work hard. I'm going to come early. And I came at seven o'clock and Ronaldo was already there, you know, and it was like, <laughs> you know, in a way, to be honest, West Brom, it didn't happen like that. I was always first. Uh, in far, like one hour before, I was always first. And uh, long after some, me, somebody came. But here, it was like, I see players, different mentality, you know, they, they just... Did you start going at six then? No. <laughs> 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 and there is a, a Helen, uh, there, there is a thin line between being earlier because Sir Alex arrived at six <laughs> and Ronaldo arrived at seven. You don't want to be before, boss. You know, because this you could be, <laughs> you could step in something dangerous. No, but I was early, you know. What, anyway, did, what, I when you went procedure. in so early, what did you do? Uh, I had my procedures, you know, uh, change myself. Uh, I went to the, eat some breakfast. I uh, went to the swimming pool sometimes earlier. Uh, sometimes just warm up. Uh, might do my stuff, extra stuff in the gym. Uh, take me, take your time. You know, I, I, football uh, was my life. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know. Ask Johnny. Johnny is always early, or always, <laughs> always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, th this is the mentality. He just wants know. to get out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was your relationship with the gaffer like? Because I remember the one game you you came on for Edwin, and then you got sent off. And then you, yeah, then real winning goal. I mean, uh, when are you going to start to talk about good stuff I did for the. <laughs> no, 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 because. See, you know, Maisie's the press now. He is the media. You, you, you He's everything for, that's wrong. No, he go for my feelings, you know, he go for my heart now. Did you, did you get the hair dryer? Everybody got the hair dryer. Yeah, so, no, yeah, one or yeah. twice, uh, <laughs> Sir Alex was like, no, but, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, uh, obviously um, happens. We we lost once uh, against West Ham, four 0 and uh, away game, and then uh, Sir Alex was mad. It would, you know, and he came to the dressing room and just, just you know, level up the floor. I was, you know, just destroy me. But I needed at the time. I was no enough motivated, and he could see that, you know. That's why you could always see when players had a, you know, bad day or they they wasn't enough concentrate. Because if you've got bad day, everyone get these bad days, and you respect that. When when I was sent off in this game against Portsmouth and the Rio went into the goal, uh, I walk in the dressing room. When I was I was only once in my life I was really sent off. And I went in. And I can see the game we're losing and we lost. And then uh, I was like, I was panicking. I said, where are I going to hide now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, you know, I just sit there as small as, as, as I can. And then uh, so Alex came and, uh, you know, and he just said, what the, you think, yeah. what are you doing? And then I said, sorry, Kafa, and that's it. He left me. He didn't say mention nothing else. Because obviously I went in, I made mistakes, misjudgment. The referee didn't help as well because there was like question mark of sending and he was all right with me. But a few times happens, yeah. After a game where maybe I wasn't that concentrate or, you know, and we lost, uh, we just, he just destroyed me. But it's good, you know. It's, we, it's, all yeah. needed, we all needed some point to be reminded, uh, you know, what you're doing and which team you're playing for. You know, absolutely. Yeah, I said to Johnny, who was Thomas friends with in the change room? He was like, just everybody. But I think he said you were quite friendly with Rio and Patrice too. Yeah, Patrice, obviously, I don't want to name uh, Rio. Yeah, I, uh, listen, guys, I love these guys. They're great. Yeah. I see Pat, Pat maybe uh, I went to the one of the uh, games, United games, when it was still normal, yeah, before virus. Uh, and uh, I went to the director box and the Pat was standing there. And he saw me, I saw him, and we're like, oh. Oh, we didn't see for like maybe, I don't know, eight years. I was like, oh, oh no it's like <laughs> serious. With Thomas, hey, look at you, man. As, <laughs> you know, this is, this is United, you know, this, this yeah. is uh, friendships never end. There's something which, this is like a scarf. 
scar, yeah, so you say yeah. scar, yeah, yeah, and all this stay there. And uh, I would say, yeah, but it was a part. But oh, I see Wes Brown, and by the like now I'm pulling, but when I see Wes, the same, you know, all is nice. Or when I see somebody uh, get opportunity to see some players, fantastic, you know, it's like. This what I can't say who was my best friend in the dressing room, because I'm this kind of type of guy where I'm good friends. I think I can call all this. This is what happens in Poland, you know. I get like weekend coming up, and we just telephone. And you know, I like people, general, good people. 